Now, the Islamist militant group Boko Haram has released a video which it claims shows some of the Nigerian schoolgirls kidnapped from their school last month. The video also shows the group's leader saying the girls will be held until all militant prisoners have been released. Well, we can talk now to Ali Atanko from the BBC's Hausa Service. You've seen more than we're actually putting out at the moment. We've just got um, a short clip uh, that we can see right now, actually, which uh, shows a large group of girls um, in a, an undisclosed location. But just tell us more about what you've been able to glean from what you've seen, what you've heard as well. Well, well these young girls are reciting the opening chapter of the Holy Quran. And um, from the look of things, they look distressed. They are not uh, reading the Quran energetically, just to show that they are traumatized and um, they are in pain. And um, likely they have been forced into something they are not happy to do. And um, additionally, looking at the threats, uh, Boko Haram leader Abu Bakr Sheikh have been saying all over once, uh, you know, in all the videos he have been uh, that have been released by the group. It is clear that this group is getting more and more sophisticated, and um, it has found a way by doing what it wants to do because. So many people have been saying that these girls were taken to Sambisa Forest, but the Nigerian government at a point was even doubting that this abduction actually uh, took place or not. But from this video, it is clear that the Boko Haram members, uh, uh, apart from the earlier video he has released, which was about an hour long, saying that um, he's going to sell these girls in the market, now that he has shown some of these girls, it is clear that um, these girls are in a Tra they are in trauma and they are in a condition that the whole world needs to act uh, swiftly and, uh, uh, you know, because this group has been doing things without any resistance from the Nigerian army. Even if this video is genuine, we don't know when or where it was taken, so it's difficult to know how much to actually take from the video. But uh, on the optimistic side, it does show the girls together in a large group possibly even now, and that, that that threat to sell them off into slavery might not yet have happened because, of course, the fear is, as this has gone on for so long, a lot of the girls might not well, still from, be together. From, from the look of things, you know, Boko Haram, when they abducted these girls, some of the girls that uh, managed to escape said they were not harmed. This is an indication that the group wants to use them as a bargain chip. Mm -hmm. Now, in this video, Boko Haram leader Abu Bakr Shekau is claiming that he would not release these girls until all militant prisoners from the group are released that are in detention in different locations in Nigeria. And tell us more about that then. How many prisoners would that be? Well, uh, I cannot say precisely the number of Boko Haram militants that have been arrested so far, but so many of them have been arrested, some underground, some, uh, you know, some, uh, uh, some, some have their cases in courts that uh, they are facing trial of uh, terrorism and other things. A few of them, like... Um, the guy that masterminded the bombing of uh, Madala Church close to Abuja, that's uh, Kabiru Sokoto, was convicted of, uh, was found guilty of uh, that act, and uh, he was sentenced to life imprisonment. So, so many of their members are still facing trial, while others have been detained without trial. So if this is all as it is indicated to be, then potentially a, a channel of communication opens. But it's not a channel of communication, obviously, that the Nigerian government will want to, to comply with. So um, does, it, does it actually yeah, it's, take it's, things it's, much it's, further forward? Yeah, it's very dicey at the moment because uh, the Nigerian government has already proclaimed this group as a terrorist organization and anyone that associates with this group would uh, face the wrath of the law. However, looking at what they have on the ground, that is, these girls they abducted in Chibok, it is clear that the government must or would have to do something to engage with this group so that these girls will be released unharmed. Thank you very much, Ali Utanku from uh, the BBC House Youth Service.